Greetings. Uh, this is a New Year's Eve outreach to uh, Russia, China, the Arab League, King Abdullah of Jordan, uh, uh, the is it Al Sisi, the military regime of Egypt, both of them neighbors to Israel. Um, I have come in peace, as I say. Uh, actually, what I'm reaching out to you uh, on is we, all of us, need to unite against the new war criminals, uh, Benjamin Netanyahu and Joe Biden. So let me, um, I'm sorry for the slow start, but let me repeat this message. Uh, Mr. Putin, Xi Jinping, Arab League, Arab Parliament, King Abdullah, uh, leader of Egypt, uh, Mr. Al-Sisi, if I have it right. Uh, who are the enemies of world peace right now? They are Benjamin Netanyahu and Joe Biden, both of whom, in my opinion, and I think also the opinion of the, inter of the United Nations, are war criminals. Uh, and, you know, in unity, there is strength. Uh, forgive me for saying the Iraq war of 2003 was a war crime. And I think it, um, uh, well, I don't want to relive that, but there, there are some comparisons. Anyway, so uh, it's, it's so exasperating, it's so upsetting. But again, in unity, there is strength. And... Uh, I don't know what the winning strategy is, but what I do know is that unity and strength makes all of us better able to thwart the evil plans and, and war crimes of both Joe Biden and Benjamin Netanyahu. Uh, there's probably more to say, uh, except that um, I, I want to go ahead and articulate a vision of the future. We're now, you know, people make their New Year's Eve predictions or uh, ex ex resolutions or whatnot. Um, uh, and I, I don't want to dwell on the negative, but it's actually justice. So I think it's important to go ahead and articulate what I'm about to say. Uh, my vision for the future is that Israel suffer the same consequence that Germany did after World War II. Um, if we remember, Germany, Adolf Hitler, in World War II, uh, sorry, Germany and Adolf Hitler, the Third Reich, started World War II, um, <clears throat> committed the Holocaust, did all their horrible things, killed 20 million Russians and so on, uh, and they paid the price. Germany was then uh, occupied, and I think still is occupied by the United States, uh, but it was divided and so on for 45 years. I think that Israel now needs to be uh, occupied, treated like Germany was. They become like the Third Reich. Um, I think they did 9-11, uh, to be honest with you, but involves extraterrestrials as well. More importantly, extraterrestrials are manipulated, but they did it. Uh, it wasn't done by Osama bin Laden, in my opinion. Um, and I, I don't want to de-emphasize the extraterrestrial dimension to all this because they're the ones who are causing all these problems ultimately. But anyways, the Illuminati. Uh, but um, I do want to en enunciate my vision of justice, which is that Israel experienced what uh, Nazi Germany experienced. That is a, 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 a military occupation of Israel for at least 25 years in which uh, no Israeli is permitted to enter Gaza. No Israeli, there is a, there is a true Palestinian state set, set up, a true Palestinian country, if you will, separate and apart, whatever it is, they are superior really in legal status to Israel, which becomes the occupied country and no Israeli can enter Gaza. No Israeli can enter Palestine is Israel is under armed occupation for at least 25 years, as was Germany after World War II, 
That's my vision for the future. I think that's justice. They brought it on themselves. And and we now the hard part is we got to get us to the place where we stop uh, Joe Biden and Netanyahu's so far successful plan. They started a regional war, right? Uh, we've got to unite to stop them from starting World War III. These are really bad people. 